Okay, welcome to another Orbiter video. And this video is going to pick up exactly where I left off for me five seconds ago. And for you guys, however long it was since you saw the last part. So in this uh, in this mission, we started off at Brighton Beach. We're heading back to Earth. And in the previous video, we got down into the atmosphere. And we're trying to get over to Cape Canaveral. Uh, our cross range started out at 700 kilometers. I thought we could actually take care of that just by... Uh, gliding the vessel through the atmosphere it turns out that it was a, a bit more cross range than we could handle so right now we're going to unpause and try to deal with the rest of the space uh, the, the, with the rest of the space alignment so let me go ahead and switch to the full view here unpause and just another reminder to myself that I'm currently at 2x time warp so I want to make sure that I keep that in mind before I, you know, try to do any maneuvers. I did install uh, Glide Slope. I really like this MFD for a couple of things. Um, it's been a long time since I've used it. So we do have Cape Canaveral here. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to remember how to use this. So CFG. Okay, so we we are targeting that, but we don't want the landing pad. Uh, previous runway, uh, that's probably not right. We probably want that one. So, um, something like that. I don't, I'll worry about that later. Mach seven. So, yeah, we're trying to just drive our way around to the base. Uh, unfortunately, we overshot it, and we're traveling really fast, so... So my current goal is just to try to keep, you know, driving myself towards the north. And then we're going to, uh, when we get down to a reasonable velocity, we'll, we'll turn off the autopilots, take over manual control, and try to glide back to the base. And if we can't make it under glide, we will have to use some of our main engine. And we're getting pretty close to the point where I want to turn off the autopilots. So I'm going to start rolling out and pitching down. And actually, let me switch over to this view for now so I can see exactly what my bank angle is at. So I'm going to set it to zero. And we're going to go ahead and pitch down. Mach four. I want to be a little careful not to, like, climb way out into space, though. Might be too late for that. Mock three. Information. All right, I'm going to go down to one, one time, and we're getting to the point where we can take over control with the, uh, you know, with the joystick. So, okay, now we're falling back down. So let me turn off that autopilot. And I should have control, at least, I should at least have elevator control. Just kind of do some checks here. Yeah, the controls are sloppy, but we have control. Oh boy, why are we dipping down? Alright, and we're going to need to So we, we overshot the base pretty substantially, so we're gonna have to turn basically north, fly up the coast of Florida, glide up the coast of Florida, and then turn back west at some point. Uh, not real clear where I'm at at the moment, but uh, we'll we'll use our we'll use our MFDs here shortly. Let me actually switch over here. So glide slope helps me uh, get lined up. So okay, I see. I have the information I want now. So you can see down on glide slope, it says negative 102 down on the bottom left. I want that to be zero, and that means I'm lined up with. That means I'm flying in the same direction as the base. I use that extensively for. Uh, I want to be careful not to overheat. 
I use that extensively when doing the the speed runs to wide awake. And our distance to the base is finally starting to come back down. We may have to use some fuel to get over to the base. So normally I, I would always do dead stick landings, but and that's the right way to do it. Using fuel is a bit of a crutch at the very least, if not a complete cheat. But I'm barely more than an absolute beginner at this point. So we, the, mo the most important thing is to have the experience and hopefully have a success, even if we have to use a bit of a crutch. Uh, my trim is way up. Take out all that elevator trim, zero that out. So we're still trying to turn back toward the base. Okay, yeah, we can definitely get lower in the atmosphere now. I just I don't want to get so low that I'm bleeding off all of my my energy. But but at the same time, we're up high enough that uh, our controls are really really sloppy. So I can see glide slope is down to uh, we're almost lined up with the base. All right, now we just have to glide for 130 kilometers, which sounds like a lot, but it shouldn't take us super long time. Wait, surely that distance is not right. I'm not flying over the base right now, am I? Oh, no, 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 never mind. I'm looking at the wrong thing. That says my di that's my distance off base, not my distance to the base. My distance to the base is a thousand kilometers. Oh my gosh. Um, all right, just for the sake of time, I think what we may have to end up doing is burning the engines just to get over there faster, just because otherwise it's going to take a really, really long time. Let me think, how do I want to do this? <clears throat> I could probably do time warp. 22 kilometers, 500 meters per second. Mock. We're too far away. Um, we're going to go ahead and burn. So we went from a crutch to a cheat. <laughs> and mainly I just don't want this to take, you know, forever in a day and then some. Mock three. But I don't want to burn up the vessel either, so let's climb. Okay, 2014 me would be so ashamed. So my glide slope is showing me that I'm 0, 0.0, so I'm lined up with the base. My distance is a thousand kilometers, so I've got a ways to go. And I'm not trying to get the orbital velocity by any means, I'm just trying to get to a high enough speed that uh, you know, we can cut down that distance, but I also don't want to go so fast that I overshoot the base in the other direction. So we'll try to keep our speed, you know, under control. Alright, so I probably don't really need this. Let's bring up something more useful. Uh, let's zoom in. Oh yeah, they're, they're, they really need to add a button here that just zooms in on your location. Or, or rather, when you zoom in, you just click that button and it takes you to your location. Or is that what track does? So if I go zoom and then track, maybe, maybe that's... Okay. Alright, so a bit more to go. 
six, uh, 900 kilometers from the base. And if we're at least as fast as the sun, uh, the rotation of the Earth, then we should still be able to land while the sun is uh, over the base. And I think we're currently outrunning the rotation. I guess we'll find out if the sun is rising, like as we go further forward, if the sun seems to be rising, then it means we're outrunning the rotation because currently that's a western view and the sun should be setting. All right, where are we at? Uh, nine, 880, let's go ahead and get there a bit faster just for the sake of time. And every now and then I need to look down at glide slope just to make sure I'm still on target. Again, we don't want to go so fast that we can't break out of that speed quickly. And I do think the sun is rising. All right, so 700. 80 kilometers to go. Let me see if I can do this. Let me see if I can just put in a bit of up elevator trim, which is backwards on this one, because usually you pull back to go up. This one you push up to go up, which is backwards. And then we'll do uh, Control F2, and we'll see if we can warp time just to get there a little faster, maybe even do three, because we are a bit slowed down. That seems to be working. Yep, sun's definitely rising. Mark nice. Six. So we're 660 kilometers out. Let me go down to one and just a bit more up elevator trim. Warp time forward. Keeping an eye on my, my glide slope to make sure I'm on track for the base. Keeping an eye on distance. Keeping an eye on speed because we don't want to arrive and be traveling so fast that we can't break out of it but I think everything's coming together okay APU fuel 40%. burning through a lot of that APU okay, I'm okay with descending a bit now slow things down a little bit maybe maybe it's too early for that let me go to real time up elevator And speed things up again. Back to three. All right, actually one thing that could come in handy right now, it once again would be uh, arrow break. Mark five. Yeah, nice. All right, so according to arrow break, I am uh, currently arriving at the base with a bit too much speed, so Let's uh, let's uh, set our AOA and start planning to break. So let's engage. And you can see our line there. And I should be able to control that now with a uh, keyboard. So this is where we are, that white dot. That's where we're going to run out of energy. So let's bank a bit to the left, which will bring our point closer to that yellow spot. Let's take out just a bit of, 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 of AOA, so Alt-8, to bring the nose down a little bit, because I do want to have some energy when I get there. And once again, Control-F2, just for the sake of time. Do a bit of time warp to get over there a little faster. But I think we're on track. So all in all, if we if, if we land successfully, you know, I won't fret over this too much. 
being that it was my first time in so long. How far out are we? 170 kilometers. All right, let's go to real time. Let's increase our pitch. And pretty soon we're going to take over manual control and glide down to our landing. Go ahead and bank one more time. I don't mind arriving a bit north of the of the runway. Although I actually had to originally pick the southern runway, but now that we've turned around and come back, I'll pl I'm planning to land uh, coming out of the north going south. 120 kilometers away. And... Yeah, I think we have everything pretty well under control now. Let me turn off the autopilot once again. And zero out my trim. And careful. And now I should be able to somewhat eyeball it. But let me bring up glide slope. I have to switch runways though now, don't I? Morning, coolant temperature. Well, that's not good. So the crew's getting hot. Hang in there. Just a bit longer. Sorry, it's taking so long to get down. Uh, yeah, I really do need to uh, change this. So we want runway 31 instead. No, no, I had it right before. Alright, All right, so I think I have everything under control now. So we're going to uh, kind of fly a bit this way, and then uh, this is the runway. Don't really need map up anymore because it's not giving me anything... I'm just using the hat switch on the joystick, so that's our target. So we're almost home. Um, all right, what else? We can, we're going to have to put down the landing gear, but we definitely don't want to do that yet. We'll we'll rip it off and be a failure. All right, so trim is zero. We're at 21, alt uh, 21 kilometers altitude, so we're pretty high up. Let's start getting down. I would actually rather have glide slope on this side as long as, oh boy. and then power that side off just so I can see better. I'm going to do a pretty tight turn right now. Extremely tight turn. Crazy tight turn. I'm going to roll out of that turn a bit. Morning, wing stress. Non standard procedures here. Okay. I guess I should probably actually target the more distant runway, but. Uh, this one's longer. How's my heart rate? <laughs> okay, I think we're going to be alright. Uh, let me turn off that annoying alarm. I think it's Control W. 
and uh, I wish I had my joystick mapped to the air brake. So I'm just trying to get over a bit this way, in front of the runway. Wherever the velocity vector is pointed, that's where we're going. And we're definitely landing in this video. Let me turn off this. It's just in the way. You are clear to land. This landing sucks. <laughs> One thousand nine hundred, eight hundred, seven hundred, six hundred. This landing is terrible. Old me would be hiding his eyes right now. Three hundred. Warning, gear is up. Yeah, I know the gear's up. Thank you, though, for the reminder. Warning. Gear is I know up. the gear's up. Thank you, though, for the reminder. Warning. Gear is up. I know. All right, I guess I'll put it down to shut you up. Warning. Gear is up. All right, now all we have to do is not slam the runway. All right, brakes. I'll take it. I will take it. Whoa. 100 knots. Wheel stop. I'll take it. Let me open the hatch so these people can breathe. They're sweating to death right now. Uh, where's that at? Must be on the upper panel. The cabin hatch. Using external O2. Turn off the APU. Turn on external cooling. Hatch open. Okay. External cooling online. Let's take a look. So yeah, we got the hatch open to the Earth's atmosphere, so and we got the external cooling turned on. We landed. We It was a pretty soft touchdown. I was watching my vertical speed as I touched down. I felt like, um, I don't feel like the, the back wheels were uh, quite, I, like I don't feel like the vessel was pitched quite enough on touchdown. I'll have to look at the replay and see. But overall, I'm pretty happy with this flight. The fact that I overshot the base by so much only happened because the because the off base distance was uh, substantially higher than than I see I thought I could handle that cross range but again since it's been so much time that amount of cross range uh, apparently if I if I were going to try to to do that landing with that amount of cross range I would have needed to have entered the atmosphere sooner so that I had more time to to glide across the sky but overall it was a it was a the goal was a learning experience and I learned again how to use Transex to take off from the moon and get back to Earth. And I got my hands on um, an Earth atmosphere landing again. So overall, I'm pretty happy with how this mission turned out. If you guys liked it, uh, go ahead and hit that like button. Leave some comments down below. Let me know what you thought. And I will see you in the next video, if there is one.